pay a cash award of up to two thousand dollars for information on these or any unsolved crimes. It's a organization like Crime Stoppers that can assist. I don't know what makes people tick that would do something as senseless as this. It was about 12.30 a.m. on Tuesday, April 26th, when an employee from Stavros Pizza was walking to his car from an exit door at the back of the building. It was there where he was approached by an unknown male and told not to move, but he did. As he made his way to his car, <clears throat> he was struck on the head from behind and told not to move. When he turned around, he saw this individual and um, the absent-minded uh, offender at that point realized he hadn't pulled his balaclava down yet so the victim actually did get a look at him before he he pulled his mask down over his face now we're assuming it was a robbery although the offender didn't actually get an opportunity to say much more before the victim decided to fight back a struggle for the firearm then began it started around the back by the vehicle and the fight continued outside to the front of the restaurant and at that point in time, um, the victim actually wrestled what turned out to be a, a real handgun, a, a semi-automatic handgun away from the offender, and the offender fled southbound on foot. The victim of the assault sustained minor injuries and a laceration to the head. According to management at the restaurant, nothing like this has ever happened before at the establishment. The incident has left staff, but most importantly, the victim, quite fearful. The first week or so he was a little scared and he took a couple days off and then now he's okay, seems to be alright. But he talked to the police officer that was in charge of it and he told him, he said, what do I do if this happens again? Because he's, he goes, just don't do what you did. It's basically, he goes, just give the guy what he wants and better your, save your life than so. The gun used in this assault and attempted robbery was actually stolen from a residence in Edmonton during a break and enter in October 2010. Investigators are taking this assault incident very seriously. There was a weapon involved and the outcome could have been a whole lot worse. Anyone with any information about this crime is asked to call police or anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Given the fact this offender, you know, was uh, serious enough to arm himself and um, presumably if he had bullets, he would have brought them with him and, uh, you know, the ammunition really isn't all that difficult to obtain. I mean, if he gets his hands on a gun in the future, uh, he'll probably bring it loaded next time and, um, yeah, and this victim, you know, like I say, was just very lucky that um, he had a fairly trifling injury. Through Crime Stoppers, you can be eligible for up to $2,000 for information on this or any unsolved crime. Your tips are anonymous and completely confidential. You can talk, type, or text them in. For Shaw TV, I'm Lisa Walansky.